What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Pat. I'm a full-time reseller. Today I have a thrift haul to show you guys as well as we're going to go over some sales from last week. Uh, sales were down from the week before, but still some, some decent items sold and I got I think three or four items I'm going to show you guys. Um, thrift haul mainly consists of men's clothing and I found four Star Wars posters that uh, I'm kind of excited to show you guys. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I'm probably going to end up keeping these. Uh, I paid about 10 bucks a piece. Uh, first one is this uh, Return of the Jedi scene. It says 1997 on here. Uh, I'm not sure if that means this is from 97 or the, just like the artwork and you know maybe a copy because it does say Litho on it. So I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done, like I said, a ton of research. Uh, this is my first time really buying posters anyway. Um, I think this was probably around 10 or 15, maybe 20 bucks. Um, it's it's in the plastic on cardboard. The size are they're all 24 by 36. This one was just pretty cool. I gotta find some space for all of these. I really don't have any wall space in my office. And the last one is this Return of the Jedi with Yoda. If any of these I'm gonna hang, it's probably gonna be this one. It's my favorite. I think there was one other one listed for like 64 bucks, but a couple bends in the corners, but I'm keeping them anyway, so I don't really care. So not too bad for clothing. Each shirt today cost me three dollars and seventy-five cents. Um, I found a tie and this pair of Pendleton socks. First time I've actually bought socks. And Pendleton's a great brand for like clothing, uh, shirts and all that. But these were still brand new. Paid a buck for these. So I think comps were like 15, 16 bucks, maybe 20. But I'm just going to poly bag, first class, probably for a few bucks. So not a bad pickup. Haven't bought a lot of ties recently. I just haven't been really looking and... Um, something I'm kind of phasing out unless I find like really high-end ties. This one isn't, you know, the greatest, but not the worst. It's uh, Robert Talbot Nordstrom, um, and it's extra long, which is the only reason why I picked it up. It's a really, got a really cool pattern. It's in really great shape. Um, the extra longs tend to do better for me. I haven't listed ties in a while, so I'll have to do a little bit more research. And here is a, okay, this isn't a shirt, but it's a jacket, but it still cost me $3.75. Um, Hugo Boss, Boss Orange, that's the, the tag an XL the tag will always be underneath the first tag or like on the side but I've always found that on Hugo Boss Orange that the tag was always on the back end so like here's the um, XL um, the full zip like hoodie light jacket which got a cool like flip cuff with a, a button on the uh, actual sleeve end which I've never seen on a jacket um, I think cops for this were like 30 or 40 bucks I have to do more research, but again, I couldn't pass it up for four dollars. There's a brand I talk about a ton on my channel. I think I found a few of them today, but Tommy Bahama is like one of my bread and butter items, um, especially ones that have like the cool print on the back. Most of my so my Goodwills around me have shirts for five dollars, and um, I get twenty five percent off for the year. So with tax, they come to four bucks even. And then there's a few other thrift stores that I go to where the shirts are like two to three dollars. So my cost averages on the day usually under four bucks. But this kind of like Tommy Bahama print will sell better than if you just like, there's a couple of shirts I have in here that are just like a, a light floral or like a, like a, not floral, but like a stripe pattern. Those te I generally get like 15 to 20 bucks for. Something like this will probably go more to 25 to 30. And sometimes like the specialty ones that are just hard to find will go for more. Uh, here's another brand that I sell quite often. It's Columbia. This is just like a short sleeve uh, vented polo. Should be 15, 20 bucks. Now again, another... Columbia PFG this is is this a PFG yes yeah, a PFG but it's a 4x so it's a larger size I have to double check and see what cops are going for but I love these shirts because we're here we're here where I live in South Florida these sell even if they're like even if they have like moderate stains a lot of fishermen don't really care they just want the shirt for what it is they're gonna get dirty anyway so I still end up getting pretty good money for for them even when they're stained but larger sizes also sell pretty well uh, another Columbia the super bonehead I'm not entirely sure what what that is but I feel like some of these I've sold for more than regular ones and some I've sold for less um, this one's got a really cool plaid pattern again another PFG good size another brand I sell quite often Brooks Brothers it's just a generic button-down uh, short sleeve I did buy two of these so I'm probably gonna lot them together just to get more money for them because as on their own they're, they they don't really do too well but I found that putting like them in like lots of two to three i'll have to pay one shipping price which together they should still go first class there's another columbia pfg it's got a cool fish pattern there's another decent brand i usually get between 15 and 25 bucks depending but fascinable uh, here's that other brooks brother shirt that i'm gonna lot with the other one this brand i i'd sell well in but i most of the times i find it it's it's got a french cuff but this one actually has a standard cuff the brand is charles tierwitt 
and I usually only pick these up when they are slim fit non irons or classic fits. For some reason, they say, seem to sell a lot better for me. But this was five ninety nine on half off, so it was like three three and change. Everybody should know this brand, Armani Exchange. It's a pearl snap long sleeve. Another Fastenable. This is the first time I found this, which is a Charles Tierwitt Polo. Again, the newer. I think this is the newer style tag. Overall, pretty good condition. And here's a newer Tommy Bahama uh, silk. It's got a really cool like dotted floral pattern. And this is a shirt I probably get 25 or 30 bucks for. Uh, another Columbia PFG with a crazy kind of pattern. Usually when I find them, they're like the uh, ones I showed you earlier. They're just kind of blad or check, plaid or check rather. But this one's got a really cool like floral palm print. So that might actually go for more money do some more research and here is a more vintage style tag for the fast noble brand so yeah that's gonna do it for clothing so now we're gonna hop over and I'll show you guys what I sold last week a little bit slower of a week last week did 40 sales for just under 900 bucks but I had some interesting sales so we're gonna start with the first one which was this um, Eden Alpha Phi Alpha jersey I found this a few months ago it was in a haul video I did uh, paid just under four bucks uh, wasn't really sure what to price this at since there wasn't really any to comp like compare it to so I just priced it high at 75 bucks and I took a best offer of 35 plus shipping. So it took, like I said, two months to sell. So I was completely happy with that. Um, even finding like weird stuff like this, if you really, sometimes if you can't find comps for it, I mean, this was just something so unique that for $4, I knew there was, you know, I was going to make something on it. Just wasn't sure what that was. So sometimes it's worth taking a risk, especially on something like this, like for as, as different as this was something I've never seen before. Uh, turns out that, you know, 35 bucks was it, but so don't ever just uh, turn something down because there's no comps. Next up, this I've talked about a few times now. So the first time I found these, I was selling them for $16.95. There were only a few on the market and they were selling really quick. So the next batch I found of like two or three sold probably just as quick at $17.95. Um, and this time I was able to find 20, 21 or 22 more of them. I put these in lots of two for $39.98 plus shipping and um, this one, one sold within one day, and the next one sold within, uh, I think it was two or three days. My cost was $4.75 for the two of them. So shipping was cheap, went first class for four bucks. Definitely check the expiration date. Uh, all these, I, I think putting it in the listing really helps because all the other ones, just some have it in the title, some have it in the definitely in the description, but I figured having it in the photo might actually help so people can see that these expire April of 2022. Maybe I think that's what helps sell these quicker. So next, this is an interesting item. Back in November of last year, I had a private estate sale that I went to, and the guy had like, I think there were like 20 of these, 20 or 22 of these. Um, there were actually three different kinds. I think the set had four, but um, I sold out pretty much of all of them. I think I only have two left of, of this kind, which is the one with Han Solo and uh, the Sarlacc Pit. Um, pretty much have nothing into these. A bunch of stuff that I bought in that lot sold for really good money, so... I originally he priced these at a dollar a piece, so I had 20 bucks, 25 bucks, a dollar a piece in all of them. Um, like I said, selling all the other stuff, so these basically cost me nothing. So I just had all three of these different styles listed for $14.99 each, because at the time I listed these, there were a few sold for like five or six bucks plus shipping. So I didn't mind just putting them up, like I had nothing in them. So, you know, I have two left that I've sold over the last year, I'm you know, completely fine with. But like I said, this was, I kept, <laughs> I kept three for myself, being a Star Wars fan. But this is the one that you see on the screen, with the Han Solo, the Sarlacc Pit. And the next one has Jabba the Hutt, you know, Princess Leia. And the other one had C-3PO, Ewoks, R2-D2, their little huts. So it's pretty cool. I think there is one more in the set I might try to find just to collect for myself. And those went in a 10 by 8 by 6 box with a bunch of bubble wrap and shipped out for just under a pound, so it went first class. Uh, shipping was like I think around five dollars to five dollars and forty cents next up This is something that sat around for a while. So back in January of 2019, which I think I, I do have another video I uh, bought a storage unit that was filled with a bunch of stuff that um, I think used to be owned by a former reseller There were a lot of like goodwill tags and I actually found like a reprice like the tag gun that they put the different colored um, tags on and um, One of the main things I found in the unit were a bunch of Pandora bracelets and charms which that that alone almost doubled my initial investment. I found a tag hewer watch that sold for I think it was seven hundred bucks, six ninety nine. So I paid like three hundred three hundred thirty dollars for the unit. So that was actually a great unit. Uh, I think I only have like two or three charms left, but 
this was a little tiny tiny little thing uh, Mickey all around spacer sold for full price 23 bucks had a few offers here and there of like 15 16 bucks but I didn't have anything in this so I didn't mind waiting until somebody paid full price and then lastly the brand is Augusta National let's see if I can bring you the tag here it has the Masters logo which is pretty popular these shirts have somehow like haven't done as well as they used to when I first started reselling a few years back especially men's clothing I used to do really well with these uh, this one sat around for a long time this one sat around for I think just close to nine months I bought it in the end of December last year I uh, paid three dollars and fifty cents for it and um, periodically I would lower the price put it on sale for sometimes more than 15 percent off but uh, this time I took an offer of 15 bucks uh, I don't know if I would recommend picking them up I do I think I have one or two more listed but um if you ever come across these definitely do your research uh, they, you know it could change by the time you see this video this is just one of those brands that used to do really well especially I got the Masters logo itself if you found on like a Peter Millar shirt so I've sold Peter Millar with the Masters logo for like 80 bucks before but just in general do your research when you come across this so that's pretty much going to do it thank you guys for watching hopefully you learned something today if you did please smash the like button if you enjoy this kind of content please hit the subscribe button it would mean a tremendous amount to me and uh, comment down below and let me know what your favorite find this week was and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks